oceans are inhabited by some 30,000 species of fish. There are no precise figures, but one thing is for sure, fish stocks are shrinking. 20 years ago, nets could only reach a depth of 500 meters. Today it is possible to fish at 2,000 meters. Here in Sao Tome, they fish using traditional methods. Six men share a boat and go out daily. Their catch is often only enough to feed their families. Little is left over to be sold. For the fishermen from the small island nation of Sao Tome and Principe, situated 240 kilometers off Africa's west coast, life is getting harder and it is European and Asian mega trawlers that are to blame, as they legally and illegally ransack the fishing grounds. <laughs> Dia Salvo Monte is in his pirogue from five in the morning until noon. On a good day, he can return home with 30 to 40 fish. <laughs> This also has to do with Europe's fishermen. Je ne peux pas dire que nous sommes très contents avec l'accord que nous avons signé avec l'Union européenne. Ici, les principales activités dans les zones côtières, c'est la pêche. Et la pêche constitue à peu près 80, 85 % des protéines animales que la population consomme, qui à dire 20, 24, 26 kilos par habitant. De façon comme ça, vous pouvez voir, c'est un taux plus haut de plupart pays d'Afrique. C'est-à-dire que pêche artisanale, c'est un secteur très important. 30% of the 206,000 inhabitants live off fishing. Yes, before we have so many fish here around the, the island, but uh, so many big ship fishing boats come here catching with fish like out about 300 miles. Then can come in here fishing at the night time. So we don't have the power to catch them. So this is the problem. The fisheries agreements between the EU and African countries benefit the oversized European fleet. For Sao Tome and Principe, the deal means hard cash, but the local markets are being destroyed, and no one has control over the mega trawlers. The government is considering whether it should demand more when the current agreement ends in 2018, or not conclude a new deal at all. Countries considered hazardous by environmentalists, such as China and Russia, have offered more money. 28 EU ships are currently allowed to fish Sao Tome's coast. Many of them can catch 200 tonnes of fish a day. To match that, a pirogue fisherman would have to spend more than a year at sea. The second smallest country in Africa is peaceful and democratic, but also very poor. One contributing factor is the large number of children. Almost half of the population is under the age of 15. To have 11 children with four women, as Pascal does, is not unusual. Luckily, the sea still provides enough for families. Famine is not a concern here due to the fertile land from the humid equatorial climate. Kinship is important for the islanders. On the weekend, families get together. Here, the youngest sits together with her half-brother, who has a family of his own. So far, the mini equatorial nation has been spared mass tourism. When the Portuguese discovered Sao Tome and Principe in the 15th century, the islands were uninhabited. 
the colonial masters earned their money from African slaves, later from coffee and cacao. The Portuguese rule ended with the 1974 military coup in Lisbon. A year later, the Portuguese left the islands. Today, the new masters come from China, after Sao Tome broke off its relations with Taiwan. Large shopping centers and a number of banks have set up shop. Oil has been discovered off the coast, but it has yet to be extracted. The oil reserves are too deep and the quality not sufficient. O príncipe é uma reserva da biosfera e nós, no príncipe, nós temos um compromisso com o ambiente e nós não gostávamos que a exploração e a produção de petróleo viesse a perturbar essa responsabilidade, esse compromisso que nós temos com o ambiente no príncipe. E é um receio que nós temos para eh, não criarmos aí um problema de choque quando nós estamos a falar de que nós queremos um turismo de alta qualidade e, aí, mesmo, e ao mesmo tempo estamos a fazer a exploração e a produção de petróleo. Temos que ter alguma, algum equilíbrio nesse processo e nós tudo iremos fazer para, de facto, defendermos o, o, a qualidade do ambiente que, que nós temos no Príncipe. But as of late, many foreign investors have sought out the government leaders of the respective islands, like the Americans here. Without foreign investment, the island nation could not survive. But investors of another kind have discovered other opportunities on these far-flung islands. Eu, a visão que eu tenho, e eu estou convencido que Santo Meio Príncipe pode, de facto, ter aqui o, 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 uma espécie de sede para as grandes empresas que queiram fazer a residência fiscal das suas empresas aqui e tornarmos, de facto, Santo Meio Príncipe numa praça financeira para as grandes multinacionais. Eu estou convencido que o país poderia ganhar muito com isso, mas num, na, numa total transparência, num ambiente de total transparência, com as regras bem definidas com os bancos, com o Banco Central e os bancos comerciais. Investors are attracted by opportunities such as these unique roças, which date back to the time of the plantation owners. Upon gaining independence, the country initially wanted to establish a socialist system with help from the Soviet Union, Cuba and East Germany. The colonial buildings have been derelict ever since. Nun, ich bin nicht nur ein Investor, ich ähm, berate Investoren, ich investiere auch selbst, aber meistens berate ich Investoren, ich bin äh, Sonderberater des äh, Außenministeriums und ähm, Sao Tome ist eine besondere Insel. Sie ist äh, friedlich, sie ist wunderschön und eigentlich ein bisschen verkannt oder vergessen. Und äh, ich glaube, die Menschen sind hier wunderbar, total. Ähm, es ist eine Oase der Friedlichkeit. Und das ist das, was, glaube ich, Europa und die Welt braucht. Sao Tome ist anders. Sao Tome ist... Ähm, ist nicht wirklich Afrika, ich sage immer, es ist Afrika light. Und es ist das Potenzial da. Super schöne Landschaften, vergessene Plätze, wie dieses, wie dieses alte Kolonialhaus hier, wo man ein wunderschönes Resort draus machen kann. Und all diese Sachen machen es so spannend, hier in Sao Tome zu sein. Sotome need investments. Sotome is a poor country, and uh, when the investor come to Sotome, is to bring us jobs, is to bring us money, is to bring is to make Sotome grow up. This is very important for us. Frequent flights from Europe to Sotome have only recently been provided. To visit the small neighboring island of Principe, 
one has to fly for another 30 minutes, even though they are almost next to each other. There has been no ferry service in living memory. Principe is only 18 kilometers long, but it boasts the finest Rosas of the two islands. Belamonte opened its doors in 2014, having been developed by a wealthy Dutch entrepreneur. They are also looking at your background and, and, and your business plan. You know, um, the Prime Minister wants stability. Um, and I think a lot of the new investors can really su um, supply that, you know. They also, you know, we've got a shareholder in this plantation that's a local. You know, so it's not that we're taking it away from them. You know, we have signed a lifetime lease, but we still have to follow rules and regulations. If we put one foot wrong or not looking after the properties or after the island, you know, we, we can be kicked out. You know? The world famous Praia Banana rose to prominence after it was used in an advertisement for Bacardi rum. It has lost none of its beauty since the development of the Belamonte Hotel. The former residents of the Rossa were rehoused in a nearby village. Many of them have found employment at the resort. Um, you know, they're all set in their ways and, and, and it's, it's, it's a bit undeveloped. Um, if you take the Caribbean um, and you take it back 10 years ago, that's what, it, that's what it's all about. You know, it's undeveloped. The people are still in the set in their own ways. They, they, they're still discovering things. Um, it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's, it's untouched. You know, at Principe, um, we use 20% of the island at the moment. You know, the other 80% is still undiscovered. Principe may seem like an investor's paradise, but not all investments have been as successful as the Belo Monte Hotel. In '75, we take uh, the state take control of all the of the farmers because you know one thing: um, cocoa was problem for people here in Sao Tome, but now cocoa become our uh, option and our future, and. Uh, the problem is some of these farmers were in the beginning was uh, managed by people who have not experience. They, they, because uh, when the Portuguese leave, leave the country, they don't leave pupils to manage. They don't leave nobody who, who can help us to manage. That's uh, why. This coffee plantation, where the Portuguese royal family once stayed, is supposed to become another hotel complex but plans are only in the early stages of development. Santo Antonio is the capital of Principe, with some 6,000 inhabitants. Almost everything has to be imported, from food to household goods to fuel. Here, life still has a leisurely pace. Mold has spread on the facades of the colonial houses, but the city is now being woken from its slumber. There is a cultural centre, but people prefer to gather at street corners to pass the time. Here the expression lev lev, meaning easy easy, is king. Everything moves slowly, but steadily. The first tourist shop has opened, but it currently has few customers. O objetivo é trazer arte aí para a ilha. Tá vendo? Eu sou de São Tomé, tem um colega que é daqui. Nós estávamos aqui no ano passado na festa, na festa ano passado. Já já um ano, uma era isso. E nós vemos aqui, juntamente com a HBD, a HB que nos trouxe. Nós fizemos uma exposição aqui, fizemos uma feira aqui e teve um pouco de bom impacto. Although the beaches are the standout jewel of these islands, they also possess lush rainforests. Francisco de Graça Alamo has been working in the Obo National Park for 20 years and knows his plants, including those that the monkeys seek out for water. Ici, é déjà terminé. Sao Tome is thankfully not of interest to the international wood mafia. The forests are too small and rise more than 2,000 metres up the slopes of the volcano. Uh, 
Bon, pour venir, nous espérons que avec euh, la photo que les gens font ici, publicité les pays, même les parcs nationaux aussi, les jardins botaniques, les gens qui vivent ici, c'est très tranquille et je pense que c'est très bon pour faire venir beaucoup de gens à pays. The islands may be rich in nature, but much of the population lives in poverty. Most are subsistence farmers. The large coffee and cacao plantations are no longer used commercially, and importing food produced in Europe is to some extent cheaper than local production. Sao Tome is now hoping that ecotourism can help alleviate poverty on the island. <laughs> Both islands are still largely untouched. On Sao Tome, which is over three times larger than its sister island Principe, the roads do not always lend themselves to comfort. The luxury resorts are waiting for visitors, but they are in greater need of investors. Tourism is supposed to become an important branch of the economy. The goal of all the political parties is to create the infrastructure to facilitate this, and it is here that Europeans have a role to play. Stefan Velk is a German EU accredited government advisor and knows the world of finance well. Education, maybe, and increase the police. People to Sao to me. Die Investition ist relativ gering zu den etablierten Standorten und für den Investor ist es ein relativ unkompliziertes, leichtes Spiel. Außerdem gibt es Fördergelder. Wir sind mit vielen, vielen Investoren im Gespräch, internationalen Investoren. Der Hafen wird ausgebaut, der Flughafen soll ausgebaut werden. Strategisch liegt Sao Tome wunderbar westlich vor Afrika. Ich glaube, wenn der erste große Investor zuschlägt, dann, ist es, dann erlebt die Insel eine Revolution. In Sao Tome, dried fish is the cheapest food product. The fish are dried so that they last longer in the tropical humidity. Some fishermen have formed a cooperative tourist business. They guide visitors through the mangrove forests or show them the wildlife. Tourists must book ahead, otherwise the fishermen go out to sea to earn a living. After a couple of hours of escorting tourists, they can earn as much as in two days spent fishing. Italian Claudio Corallo is sceptical about the island undergoing a revolution. He lived through one of a different kind in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He had to give up his coffee plantations there because of the civil war. In Sao Tome, he decided to produce his own chocolate. He controls everything, from the cacao tree to the final product. C'est un cacao qui produit peu de très très haute qualité et pour protéger tous ces parfums, on est obligé d'enlever la totalité du tégument et des radicules. Les radicules, on voit bien. On the neighboring island of Principe, the beans are removed from the fruit. After about two weeks of fermentation, 
they are dried and sent here for further processing, as is Claudio's coffee. The older varieties of cacao have a stronger aroma and a richer flavour. Claudio produces chocolate for boutique markets in Europe. Ich bin äh, Importeur von Claudio äh, in der Tschechei, in Prag und äh, bin hier auf einer Reise, um äh, die Plantage in Novamoka zu besuchen. Die Schokolade äh, von Claudio ist sehr besonders, weil es überhaupt für Claudio nicht grundlegend um die Schokolade geht. Es geht um das Produkt, das von die Kakaobohne, die, die Kakaofrucht, dann die Kakaobohne, darum geht es. Und äh, das ist äh, ein ganz anderen Eingangspunkt, was vielleicht keine andere äh, Hersteller äh, suchen oder machen äh, auf der Welt. Für Claudio, the basis of it all is Kakao which the botanist Carl von Linné once called the food of the gods. For the 65-year-old from Florence, chocolate should not taste like vanilla or milk. The first cacao that came to Principe was grown at the start of the 19th century under orders from the Portuguese king. He had anticipated the end of the colonial era in Brazil. He had the best varieties planted here and the Italian chocolatier benefits from it today. The flourishing cultivation of cacao is still modest when compared to the times of Portuguese rule, but the old Rosas are in demand. One hour away from the capital of Sao Tome, a famous Portuguese chef has transformed a plantation house from 1890 into a small hotel and restaurant. Source d'olive, macerio vanille, frais his dishes made using local produce are internationally renowned. Parce que c'est un petit île ou des îles, Saint Tomé principe sur l'Équateur, mais avec un bien, c'est une atmosphère qui conserve l'histoire, le patrimoine, la culture. Euh, l'environnement, mais qu'on vous dit, euh, les gens ne connaissent pas. Il faut connaître. Vous pouvez faire un grand travail pour aider les, les autorités de saint thomas principe et tous les gens qui travaillent dans le tourisme, par exemple. A Portuguese national opened the first diving school in Sao Tome nine years ago. Before that, he had come here every year for 20 years and had fallen in love with the islands. The archipelago consists of a series of extinct volcanoes that rise out of the Atlantic. Most of them are uninhabited. Dream beaches, warm water and sunken ships are inviting for divers. But for fishermen, there are no more big fish. They are a thing of the past. Tourists will come slowly, but they will come. Uh, and everything is going to, in this country, have everything to be spectacular country to live and to, of course, make some business. The money generated from the island's tourism has not yet made its way into the hands of the inhabitants. 
Foreign NGOs are on the ground to protect the island's rare natural diversity. Eu sinto, eu não sinto bem, porque alguém a proteger, alguém a destruir, isso as coisas não funcionam assim. É como se fosse alguém que está de ter água no cesto. The indigenous population prizes turtles not just for their meat and decorative shells, but also for their eggs. The Portuguese organization Tato is trying to prevent turtle poaching through education. Every night, guards patrol the 15 kilometer long beaches where five of the seven species of sea turtles lay their eggs. They measure and tag the animals during the breeding season, from September to April. The helpers take the eggs to protected breeding grounds, which are also guarded. Although thousands of the small turtles are released, only one or two manage to reach adulthood. It is this kind of natural spectacle that makes these islands a paradise yet to be discovered.